Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news. Two new stories. Uh, firstly, Janal Taframamu, senior former Amhara Special Force Commander, Chief rather, now Fano Commander, has released a message. He delivered a speech, in fact, uh, in Shoa. What did he say? It seems to be a policy statement because what General says matters. He is one of the most respected, well-respected uh, Fano commanders uh, in the Amhara region. Second view was it seems that another mediator has emerged to mediate between Ethiopia and Somalia. We have seen several mediators uh, work in the last uh, seven to eight months to find uh, a solution to the dispute between Ethiopia and Somalia. No one succeeded. Who is this new mediator? Can it uh, find any solution? Will it be acceptable to both sides? First question is its acceptance. Is it? acceptable or not let's start from the amhara region viewers where janal tafra mamu sent a message to fano fighters addressing them in shoa fano groups are celebrating first anniversary of their armed resistance movement. It was around a, around a year ago when Fano fighters took up arms after government tried to disband, disarm them. After government tried to disband, disarm Amhara special forces, two Amhara special forces joined Fano. Uh, by the way, even before Tafra joined Fano, uh, I said that Fano has come a long way. I've been saying that for several months, by the way. I've been saying that Fano has definitely covered some ground. Today's Fano is stronger, bigger, more resourceful than the Fano of last year. It has been my consistent position over the last few months. Having said that, Fano is not going to reach Addis Ababa tomorrow. This is another consistent position which I have been taking. Fano won't reach Bahirda tomorrow. Capture Bahirda, not reach. So, what did General Taframamu say? Firstly, Taframamu was addressing a brigade in Shoa. He is still in Shoa. He said no negotiations with government. Negotiations will happen after Amharas are respected, their identity is respected, they're free to move, free to work, and their lives are safe. They're being killed, they're being persecuted. There cannot be any talks uh, when Amharas are dying. Basically, uh, he said no talks. For talks, ENDF will have to withdraw. He did not say that, but this is what he meant. END will have to uh, withdraw. Uh, government will have to change its course. After that, Fano groups in Amhara can decide whether to talk or not. Basically, he said no talks. Armed movement will continue. Secondly, he said today's Fano is bigger, stronger. It started from small units last year. Now, Fano is building cores. Big announcement. Not surprising. That's what we have been reporting that Fano groups, Wallo Fano, especially other Fano groups, they have turned into formidable forces in terms of numbers too. And now they have commanders too, people like Tafara, other Janel, Azara, uh, others. They are there. They can organize Fano groups, they can build the structure. Yes, I agree. Fano has come a long way. I've been saying that before Tafra joined Fano. Thirdly, he said that uh, Fano 
will achieve its objectives. The way Fano fighters are taking the struggle further, they will achieve their targets. Afra's speech was definitely a morale booster for Fano fighters. But he, he, he was not lying. What he said is a fact on the ground. And Tafra looked in good shape, by the way. People have been saying that Tafra is suffering from diabetes and other health issues, might not be able to perform, to lead to Fano fighters, but he looked in good shape. The day he joined, if you remember, I said he is in good shape. Diabetes is no problem, by the way. Every other uh, elderly suffers from diabetes. So he looks in good shape. He is there. It's difficult, by the way. Uh, Fano fighters don't live lives of uh, uh, luxury. They have to go through a lot. But uh, the channel seems to be fit to lead this struggle. Second words, another mediator has uh, surfaced to mediate between Ethiopia and Somalia. Uh, for the last eight months, we have been seeing several mediators to mediate the dispute between Ethiopia and Somalia. Kenya mediated once, nothing uh, happened in terms of results. Djibouti confirmed it was mediating, uh, no results. Turkey mediated. Two rounds of talks held, third round of talks postponed. It was due to be held yesterday. Qatar offered to mediate, but Qatar and Turkey are key allies. So if Turkey failed, I don't think Qatar would try. Africa Union never made serious efforts to mediate between Ethiopia and Somalia. Other countries are polarized. They are not. Uh, neutral, like Eritrea cannot mediate, Egypt cannot mediate. They have their own interests. They, 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 have, they have become parties. Sudan is not in opposition to mediate. A new regional body is offering to mediate. I'm talking about IGAD. Workane Gebejeho, IGAD, Secretary General, visited Somalia uh, more than 24 hours. We had a video on that. I told you that he uh, delivered a special message. Basically, he was a messenger from Ethiopia sent to uh, Somalia. Now, it is being confirmed that IGAD has offered to mediate between Ethiopia and Somalia. Ethiopia ready for this mediation? Will Somalia agree? It remains to be seen. Somalia accused IGAD of uh, supporting Ethiopia in January when IGAD issued a statement about Ethiopia-Somalia conflict. And back then, Somalia demanded apology from IGAD. But uh, two days ago, when Varkne was in Mogadishu, he was warmly welcomed there. Will Somalia agree to IGAD mediation? Because Varkne is from Ethiopia, his former Ethiopian Minister of Foreign Affairs. Later, he became part of IGAD. Let's see, Somalia does not have lots of options in terms of mediators. Several mediators tried, but they failed. Uh, if Somalia is interested in talks, maybe it might agree to IGAD's mediation, though Somalia does not see IGAD Secretary General as neutral. Secondly, uh, reportedly, Warkane asked Hassan Sheikh to play a role in resolving the conflict in Sudan because Somalia has not taken any sides in Sudanese conflict so far. It's not supporting uh, Al Burhan or the other guy, uh, Hamati. So, Warkane asked Hassan Sheikh to play a role. Let's see. One important correction uh, I did a video two days ago. I told you that. A senior official of Somalia, in a speech, used objectionable language, racist words and remarks against 
protesters who protested in southwest state of uh, Somalia. The protesters protested against Ethiopian troops expulsion from the state. They opposed Egyptian military entry in Somalia. Uh, Bashir Malin is the name of this man. He is from Somalia's Ministry of Transport. By mistake, I said that he is from Ethiopia, that he is from Ethiopia Minister of Transport. No. Though I think if you watch the entire video, it's clear that uh, the man is Somali, he's from Somalia. But in one part of the video, I mistakenly said that he is Ethiopia Ministry of Transport Director General. No. Some YouTubers, TikTokers, they are, especially from Somalia side, they are using part of my video. They're saying that, see, this Ethiopian minister is using hateful, provocative language against Somalis. No, he's not Ethiopian. Bashir Malin is from Somalia. The TikTokers are deliberately, the TikTokers, YouTubers are deliberately trying to use uh, the mistake which I made to prove that uh, uh, Ethiopian official allegedly used objectionable language against uh, Somalis, which is not correct. The man is from Somalia. Thank you for watching.